we're waiting to get into San Pedro. The beautiful Basilica and it's raining again. It's actually not raining that bad, so it's okay. I have my great trusty and umbrella. Yes, and we are in this long line to get in. I think everyone had the same idea as us and they wanted to see this beautiful church when it's raining outside. So there's quite a long line. I'll show you guys what it looks like a bit. I think it should be probably an hour before we get in, but it's worth it. We've waited an hour to eat some pasta so we could do it for the church. <laughs> there you go, guys. You see the line, it wraps all the way around. minutes that line which was almost wrapped around the whole <laughs> church so it's actually not as bad as it seems in all honesty I'd rather wait in line in this weather than in like the blazing hot Sun because then you'd be sweaty I've done that before and it's not so fun so the rain has actually held off hopefully when we enter the church it will start pouring and then when we leave it will be sunny again <laughs> but we made it so let's go inside so here is the famous La Pieta by Michelangelo one of the first sculptures of its kind. It's so beautiful. This depicts the famous scene of Mary holding Jesus. Very, very beautiful. There's all coins inside there. It's pretty cool. So there is so much amazing Renaissance architecture inside this church. It is the most renowned work of Renaissance architecture in any church and it is also the largest church in the world so this is actually a basilica the things that i'm the most blown away by i have to say are the ceilings for me there's just something about them that are just fascinating and it's it's incredible the amount of detail that goes into each ceiling here because they're all sort of divided into sections and everyone is a little bit different they all have this amazing gold detailing and these beautiful works of art on them it's actually just incredible when you see this you're kind of blown away because of the sheer size and magnitude of everything in this basilica it's just incredible below this altar is supposed to be saint peter chief of jesus's apostles he's apparently very directly below here so this is a really important spot in the basilica hence the name saint peter's because they built this basilica on top of the supposed burial spot of the apostle Peter San Pietro Peter is Pietro in Italian So this is an ancient statue of St. Peter. He appears to be holding the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now we're going to touch his foot. People would see how thin his feet are. You can't even see the outline anymore from how many people have touched his feet. Wow. So what people would do is ancient pilgrims who would come to Rome would touch his foot and ask for a blessing as to be sent into the kingdom of heaven. So this is the St. Peter. This is a very old statue and he is holding the keys to the kingdom of heaven like I said and there they are in his hands. Pretty interesting. We are under here seeing all of the crypts of some of the popes. This is where Pope John Paul is buried. I actually have a picture through these doors. You can only get through these doors if you work for the Vatican and my ex at the time did. So I got to go in here and I took a really cool picture in there. Maybe I'll insert it if I can find it. It's really cool. This area you can't pass by unless you have like the Vatican card. The 
So we just saw the beautiful Arquieto. It was very nice and now we are here having a break and having some trapizzini. Trapizzini! Mm. Send that to me after. It looks so good. This is basically stuffed with burrata cheese. The cacciadore. Mm. Your tongue. I love the Lucy got the tongue. It's your birthday, Steve. Melanzana. Babka got the meatballs. Looks good. Check out. I have my gelato here. <laughs> From Old Bridge. It's hard to film right now because it's raining. That is where I got my gelato. I couldn't really talk because I'm under this umbrella right now. The weather's horrible. So hard to film and eat and talk at the same time. But that's Old Bridge. I love that gelateria. That's also in my gelato guide. Rain! Rain, rain, go away. It rained a lot when we were in the actual basilica. And now it even is continuing raining. <laughs> Luckily when we were standing in line it wasn't raining that much so it was actually pretty nice. But now it's raining. We ate some trapizzini and I had a gelato and now we are heading back to the area. So we'll see. We are at Old Bear and Road. Yeah. The Old Bear and right near our Airbnb. <laughs> yes, it literally steps away from where we're staying. I've been here many times. The food is really good here so I highly recommend it. I hope my battery doesn't die by the time the food comes. So I'm just going to quickly film everyone. Hi Lucy! Hi, Hi. Babka! Hi Arif! <laughs> we're having a dinner. It's their last night here in Rome. We're so sad to see you leave. Okay, I'll come back. Don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> and now we're having a nice last dinner together in Rome. Our first and our last. Yeah. <laughs> I have my bruschetta with tartufo. So this is all truffles on here. Yeah. And this is the delicious truffle lasagna with mushrooms. It's called timballo. And I got my tartar di tonno. It was written as carpaccio, but I asked, and it's my famous tartar di tonno. The one that I love so much. They have like cooked potatoes underneath with the raw tuna and onions and tomatoes and it's just honestly it's like my favorite thing ever. I love it here. It's so good. Nice I'm gonna try it before you eat it. That's interesting. We're going to Bocione, the famous shop for cakes. I'm gonna go so we went into the bakery. Jules is still getting her um, ricotta crostate. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like a bird just missed my head to put on <laughs> I got a, a nice crostata with a mandorla and ciliegie, so almonds and cherries inside. I'm actually excited to try it, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. And this is my breakfast for today. The chocolate ricotta. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, so this is the cake with almond and cherry. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna give it a bite right now. Delicious. Oh look. Oh, the poor little guy's flying up now to get away. How beautiful just walking down the street and we find this. Stunning. So there in the middle is a hospital. And this is the Tiber River on both sides. And you can see that the romantic Italians wrote something. What did she say? Oh, <laughs> the gentleman. <laughs> Someone wrote sempre stiamo, that means always I love you. Very cute. These romantic Italians, ah, what would we be without them? Can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> Rome in the rain is better than a sunny elsewhere, so there you exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> we came back, it was so nice we had to have it twice. The carbonara from Tonarello. <laughs> and to finish, a nice tiramisu. This one looks like it's very creamy. Oh, look how good that looks. Yeah. This is Campo de Fiori in the light of day. It's not raining today. So there's lots of people at the market, lots of fresh fruits. They're selling a lot of things. Look at those nice tomatoes as well. The beautiful Roman artichokes. Look how pretty these flowers are. So beautiful. 
So this is the Chiesa di San Luigi. It's very, very pretty. Stunning church. So this is Caravaggio. They made him paint this one twice because they said that the angel was a bit close before and his legs didn't look right. And uh, there's some funny history to this. You gotta read up on it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the most beautiful churches that I've seen anyway. It's stunning. This is the Basilica of San Luigi, Chiesa di San Luigi. Look at that ceiling with those beautiful angels. Oh my gosh. Stunning. Basilica di San, San Luigi di Francesi. Really just down the street this way from Piazza Navona. It was so nice. It was gorgeous. They had like the beautiful Caravaggio painting. I think it was my favorite church in Italy besides obviously the St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty much. It was, yeah. it was honestly stunning. Amazing to see. The ceiling was incredible, gorgeous. Definitely one of my top five favorite churches in Rome. So I highly recommend checking it out. See, you don't even have to go to museums. You could just step inside churches and see like so many beautiful works of art. It's just incredible. So that one had the Caravaggio painting. I was whispering in there, so I guess it was a little bit of ASMR for all of you guys. <laughs> it's Lucia and Babcha's last day today, so it's quite sad for them. We still have a couple more days left. But I'm sad to leave Rome already. I feel like my trip is already coming to an end too. <laughs> They're filming a movie here in Rome. Quite interesting. I don't know what's going on here. And then there's like a little table with people right by Castel Sant'Angelo. That's pretty cool. That dog is so cute. I finally have my ginseng. Pasta Imperiale. This is to get some pastas to go. Here's the sign. You can pick your type of pasta that you want. Tonarelli, Strozzepreti, Tagliatelle. And then you could pick your sauce. If you want pomodoro, cacio e pepe, carbonara. You could do all different kinds of that. And it's all homemade pasta. All homemade for so $5.50. You can get a bigger size for $7.50, etc. And it's right on our street, Via dei Coronari. We actually have our B&B on the street, which is just minutes from Piazza Navona. So it's really cute. So this is the tornarelli with carbonara and that's the mm. pretty with cacio e pepe. It looks very good actually. So here's a cute review of the pasta to go. I think my favorite one is the carbonara, I would say. Delicious. So yeah, this is a cute place to get fresh pasta to go. You could tell it's homemade and it's very inexpensive. So if you have like a little hotel or Airbnb close by and you don't feel like dining in, you can get this to go. I saw an episode of Gino Di Campo once that he had this pan forte and this is apparently similar. It's like the Romano version and they eat this for Christmas and it has like nuts and fruits in it and I think I got the one with even pepper in it but it's actually really good. So this is actually called pan pepato which is similar to pan forte and their pan giallo is the same but the pan giallo has like oranges and different fruits and nuts. This one has chocolate, cacao, pepper and some fruit, dried fruit and things like that. So this is actually really delicious. Fruits and nuts. I actually love this stuff. It's very heavy, this little thing was eight euros which is a bit much but it's actually very heavy and i feel like you get a good size amount so this was from Roscioli. hello where are we we're all so we gonna be guys this is the main square for us stomping ground yeah we're waiting to meet some family friends to have a nice little walk around here they're kind of like our cousins in a way davidino ariana and company all righty Ciao for now. <laughs> Bye, Alec. Your 15 minutes of fame is <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> The beautiful Castel Sant'Angelo and its bridge.